this is an ideal dial that I'm, I'm going to test to use on my uh, solar battery system. And right now I'm using uh, Schottky diodes, and they drop about you know, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 uh, volts across the diode. And these will drop about uh, 0 0.02 or 0.04 volts across, so you know, 10 times better. And they won't dissipate as much heat, won't waste any power. And we're going to see how they see how they work. These are only good for three amps. I, I ordered another set that's good for 50 amps. We'll, we'll, ch we'll check it out here. So here's the setup here. I've got uh, I've got two of these diodes down here, and a 12 volt lamp right here. Okay. Now this is the voltage to the uh, the first diode. This is the current to the first diode. And this is the voltage to the second diode and voltage and the current to the second diode over here. So I'm going to turn this one on. And we've got uh, 13, let's put it at 12 volts. I got uh, yeah, 12 volts there. And I have um, 13, uh, I have 0 0.42 amps going through there. And these two are. The output on both of these dials are connected together through the lamp, so uh, but nothing's coming back. No voltage is coming back through these. Uh, these are actually MOSFETs in here. Nothing's coming back through there, so that's good. 12 volts here. I've got current running through this one, and nothing on the other side there. I'll turn that one off, and we'll turn this one on over here. I got 12 volts here, uh, 0.42 amps going through there, and nothing coming back through the other diode. So that's working. That's working fine. Now, if I put a voltmeter across the uh, from the uh, input to the output on there I'm only dropping point uh, zero two uh, volts on there so that's 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 perfect okay now let's turn uh, both of them on okay so they're both on and they're kind of sharing the load there in fact I can adjust this so that they're about the same let's see yeah point uh, two three point uh, two amps on there I think they're actually switching back and forth but uh, so that, that's working out fine now if I turn this one if I turn this one off okay there's no power going in here but I'm getting voltage back through her and I'm getting this, this voltage coming back through this uh, this set of uh, this diode here this ideal diode here so if I change the voltage here you can see it's changing over here you know nine uh, nine volts nine volts put that up to you know 12 12 so I'm getting voltage back through this uh, this diode here which I don't want to do that that's going to put voltage back into the other set of batteries and uh, that's uh, that's not good so you know why is that uh, why is that happening I'll turn that off so here we are here I, I drew up a schematic of this uh, this little module here we've got two uh, MOSFETs these are uh, P channel MOSFETs and can you see that and in order to to uh, control the P channel MOSFET you take the, the gate to uh, becomes negative and then the, the channel will turn on okay so in to do that they just have a, a voltage divider here going into a transistor and when that's when you put power over here on the, this side here it just turns the transistor on brings the gate to, to negative and turns the two MOSFETs on now when the channel is open in a MOSFET, current can flow from drain to source, or it can drain from source to drain. It's just open. It can go either direction here. So when we turn them both on, current flows from the drain to source, and then from the source to drain, it just goes straight through. And the, the um, resistance of the channel here is so low that the, all the current runs through there, and nothing goes through the, uh, through the diode there, so we don't have any diode drop on this. So that works fine that way. Now, the problem with this circuit here is that how they have it is that once we, we turn this thing on and these gates come on, there's a capacitance there and they stay on. It has to drain the, uh, the capacitance out of these gates to turn off, okay? Now, they got a 10K uh, resistor in here, but it's just not doing it. It doesn't draw down fast enough. So once we turn these on and we take the power off of here, voltage can come back through there because these gates are still open or the uh, the channel's still open there so uh you know that, that's not working out good now if i take and short these out there's no voltage on here coming in so i can short that out and then it the gate shut down and everything's fine so 
I've got to either, you know, redevise the circuit here and figure out a way to, uh, you know, uh, close these uh, gate down, or um, you know. Now I bought a, a couple new ones that are uh, 50 amps, and they have a single MOSFET in there, and we'll see how those work. But this this set system here is, uh, you know, it's going to work fine for one one diode works, or you know, but when you put them both together, we're going to get voltage back through there. Not uh, that's not uh, ideal. Okay. So anyway, uh, that's my uh, these little ideal diodes. Uh, thank you.